every night, shit, every day, shit. Dropping baby off at home before my night, shit. You know I can't hear none of spend the night, shit. Kumbaya, shit. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Savannah Liddell. Today's video is going to be on this midnight blue smoky eye. This is for New Year's Eve, New Year's, New Year, New Me, whatever you want this to be for. It's for you. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm priming my face with this MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. And this is uh, Max Strobe Cream, so you get a little glow. Cause lately I've been looking kind of ashy, you know. And I always like to prep my lips before I start doing my, make my makeup, so that way when I put on my lip product, my lips are nice and supple. Next, I'm just color correcting. I wish I didn't have to do this, but yes, I am color correcting with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Orange Corrector. And I'm just blending that out with a beauty blender. Now heading into foundation, I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Amber Honey. Just showing you guys that I taped uh, my eyes or I didn't take my eyes I taped it at an angle so that way I kind of got like a cat eye effect just using the urban decay primer potion as my base for my eyelids I'm using the it's my Ray Ray and BH cosmetics palette shade I'm using is called angel and I'm just putting it all over my eyelid eyelid with a fluffy brush I'm not really being particular with it, just trying to get it on my eyelids and into my crease. Is it just me or does one of my little cat ears look a little crooked? I think it's I think it's a little crooked. That's that's embarrassing. The point trying to be cute goes wrong. Next, I am using this black shade. It's a black matte color and it's called Black Beauty. And I'm just gonna put that on the outer part of my eye. Now I'm just using this fluffy brush with nothing on it to just blend the outside of that black shade, to blend that black shade in so that way it's not looking harsh. And oh yeah guys, I did my brows off camera cause I'm trying to grow, grow my brows out and so they're really wild right now. They're just like not shaped well. Taking this ColourPop eyeshadow, it's called Coconut. It's one of the Super Shock shadows and I'm just gonna put this on my lid. But you can see I'm not going like I'm not putting it all over my lid, like I'm not going too far up, because I still want that color in the crease to show up. So I just pat that on. Going back in with Angel from the It's My Ray Ray palette, and I'm just putting that into my crease. So that way the color doesn't get lost. And then I use this Sephora eyeshadow that I got back when I worked at Sephora. I got it in my gratis. And I don't even think they make the color anymore. Like black. Black and silver with like a little bit of glitter in it. And it's just so pretty. So I put that over top. And now I'm just using my L'Oreal Telescope Mascara. I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in Deep Golden. And I really, really, really do like this. Like for six bucks, this is a really great concealer. So yeah, I'm just caking it on, you know. Taking it on. So I'm doing my, my little highlight routine. So doing underneath the eyes, doing um, on the bridge of my nose, hitting that Cupid's bow.
And then I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and the shade Suede. And I'm using that like underneath just because I feel like it doesn't look as harsh. Now I'm spraying my face with Fix Plus from MAC because my face was feeling kind of dry. And I wanted this to blend out pretty easy since I put on like a ton of product. Now I'm just using my fingers to blend out my under eye concealer. I just like to do this. I feel like it just blends better and then I'll follow it up with my beauty blender. Next I'm using the Sasha Buttercup um, setting powder and I'm using that under my eye. I don't like baking. Baking is the devil to me. I hate it. I look like a crusty dried up hot mess it just does not work for me so yes I'm just patting this in in the areas where I get really oily and just to set my face now I'm going back into Ray's palette and I'm using the contour shade brownie bite and I'm just contouring with that because girl I need it mm -hmm. we're gonna be on a diet pretty soon I'm going in with some blush. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Blush in the shade Wine. And I just thought it would go well with this look. So I'm applying that. And I like to blend it out with the Beauty Blender just so it's not like powders just sitting on my face. And next I'm going in with the Jackie and Artist Couture um, collab with the Diamond Glow Powders. And this is La Peach. I just got it in yesterday. It's not showing up that well on camera, but it is really pretty. My lighting is kind of, uh, it's kind of janky, but yeah, it is really pretty. And I also got LeBron, so check that out. I'm going back in with some more Fix Plus. That's enough. Okay, now I'm lining my lips with this NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Vintage. And I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Gloss in the shade Like. I finally purchased something from Kylie Cosmetics. It took me like a year or two, but I finally did it. And I actually really do like her glosses. And then I'm going in with, what is this called? Candy K. I'm just putting it over top. And I actually put a clear gloss on the top of that too. And now we are done. You are ready for a night out for a day out, uh, for a day in for me, cause I didn't go nowhere, but you know, new year, new me, peace out. The Trina hit, I had to transfer campus. Your apartment, I didn't use this while I waited. Staying with you when I didn't have a address.